Hello friends, welcome to Technoi channel. Today we'll uh, discuss about how to download and install one of the IBM software, IBM integration bus for the developer's version. Usually this particular software is used for the integration between diverse set of applications. So I'll create uh, another tutorials for explaining about various features and why you use. And today my most agenda is to explain you how to get it uh, download and install it so that you can get started in no time. So this link I will keep in my description so you can able to find it quickly. So this is a full version of product. Okay, so you will get access to all the version deploy test with no charge. This is for the first time IBM made its own development platform as free. Earlier, the previous person used to have a message broker and there are a couple of other products, for example, integration designer, process designer, they need to, you have to pay some money to even use the developer ID version, so which was not usually free. But from this version, it is completely free. So you can mention, see over here, and which is available for Windows, Linux, probably, I'm not sure it is not available for the Mac, I believe, but never mind. So once you get access, to here, there are a couple of straightforward things. So they mention mandatory. So you can uh, put out your uh, name, your email address, phone number, and all the personal uh, details. So a few of the optional things, whether you would like to get their information, you can take no, if you don't want to get uh, a lot of mails from them. So you can click agree and you can confirm. So which will redirect you to this page. Yeah, see, it is saying, formerly it is very popular into the web share message broker. <clears throat> Earlier, uh, uh, web server message broker also comes with a prerequisite of message queue, but this time this integration bus doesn't require have a, uh, have a prerequisite of message queue. But definitely there are a lot of several use cases <clears throat> for, for which you need this message queuing capabilities, but uh, you, you don't need it. Okay. So uh, here you can download it as a, uh, as a, the recording, I can be able to see this two file, which is able to accessible, which is of 1.3 gig and 1.2 gig respectively. So the version is 10.0.0.6. Okay, so you can click download. So there are two ways to download. Let me explain a little bit about it. One is using download director, another using simple HTTP. Oh, sorry. Uh, so I, I just uh, you know logged in a little bit uh, earlier, so it is throwing me out. But never mind. So you, you can you know see for yourself. So it, it will look similar. But if you click download uh, uh, now, so one upload will be pop up. So I think I close it. And, uh, so if I click over here, so one download upload will come. The only important thing you to notice that usually the Chrome browser doesn't allow this Java plugin to install. Okay, this require a Java JDK version, it will pop up message. If you find difficulty, leave a comment below. I'll try to guide you step by step. But once you install, so usually Firefox, you can enable that extension Java and then you can click. The benefit of using download directory is that because this file is very big size. So if it is you not know, downloaded completely, if it is paused, resume or if you stop, so you can able to resume it. And the connection on the download speed is a bit faster, but it will start parallel connection at a time. And also if you get some difficulty in download director, but at the same time you have a pretty good uh, internet connection, you can definitely download by HTTP. So 1.3 gig, maybe it should not be a big deal if you have a good connection, okay? So now let's get started. Once we download the EXE, let's uh, explore about the option how to install it. Okay, so after some time this file will be get downloaded. You can keep in any of your folder. So then we can, you know, install it. So let us try uh, installing as a normal user. And the installation process of, for the software is quite simple and straightforward. So this is popping up this particular thing. Uh, let me, yeah. Okay, so it is the license agreement. We can uh, agree to it. If you would like to change the folder, so you can click on this option. So it is prompting you to change uh, the folder location. So currently it is installed in this program files. I don't mind to install over here. 
and also it, it this IBM integration toolkit this is a development ID but that is what we needed for for developer edition we would like to develop the code so we definitely need it and also the runtime also will be installed on this folder so we can click OK so it again come back to this uh, previous page then we can click install then it will ask uh, for a prompt yes or no we can you know click yes so this is a bit a uh, simple process it will keep installing and the installation is very quick and easy and straightforward LA used to take a lot of time uh, it seems to be installing that uh, VC++ library also if you don't have there should not be any big problem so it, it just comes with this package now my installation is going smoothly uh, it may take a couple of minutes like two to five minutes so then it should be good enough usually other software for example integration designer and other thing will take in literally hours so this is a quite good improvement in terms of uh, speed up the process of installation even though it seems to be a little bit high time if you're coming from the open source world but if we think about IBM software this is a decent uh, speed okay now you can see the setup is completed so you can close it so let me open this software so I think this is where it installed you can go ahead and uh, see uh, inside your start panel so our uh, two icon will be displayed also in a sec so let us see a little bit of a folder I'll go into some detail about uh, different folder structure what are the important thing for the administration point of view so here we can have some JDK and a couple of other uh, stuff so this is this license in different languages and uh, various properties files this is readme files so this is the server we have been directory and uh, oh this is quite interesting so do they have node.js so the the tools we have this is a you know ib tool let me open this uh, ibm integration toolkit i think this is not visible for you let me let me show you so this two software is installed one is integration console and another one is toolkit this toolkit let me click it so this will open our id uh, once your successful installation we can have a quick verification and uh, no need to worry i'll explain a little bit in detail about what this product is all about if you are new to this product and learning and I'll uh, demonstrate with various example how to create a different kind of integration touch point whether it is web services, SOP over, or HTTP calls or database or file integration or we can do different authentication, different uh, programming languages for example straightforward mappings, logging, exception handling so and a lot of administration point of view how to create a broker and servers and a little bit test upon the high availability so i'm planning to create several other tutorials which will go in depth about it okay so this is today is to download and install it so that you can get it ready it is completely free of cost if you have some decent internet connection you can give it a try so this product is quite old it is from 90s earlier it is known as message broker and from 2005 the new product integration uh, ESB was launched and then now merged it recently so there is a quite good traction and there are a lot of people already using it so it should be good enough okay. so once we open this this is how it looks like I will explore more about a different palette a different menu bars options and different preference so for today it should be good enough so you will learn how to download how to install and will get in touch so if you like my videos if you want me to create several other kind of this kind of videos please do like it even your simple like will definitely help me give a lot of motivation to me and also it will allow other people to discover my content so i'll keep a rhythm for creating my videos and also you can subscribe to it so you can get notification about my new videos so if you like so you can spread our twitter or facebook and whatever the social platform you prefer to 
Thanks again. Have a great day ahead. Bye-bye.